he's going to provide a couple of tips here. Um, if you guys do or don't know, USA Hockey provides a foundation for sports of ice hockey in America. Um, and we've worked with a lot of different parts of USA Hockey and helping uh, administer some of their trial process. But uh, yeah, talk to, we got Roger here and I'll let Roger kind of give us some tips or ideas, his ideas on, uh, you know, evaluating players for trials through the kind of USA Hockey lens. Yeah, the, welcome everybody. And, and Gabe and Gabe, thanks for uh, having us be a part of this. I think tryouts is obviously a, uh, a huge deal in youth sports and particularly in, in ice hockey. And, and um, you know, it, it, it brings a lot of different uh, positives and negatives to the experience of our, not only our athletes, but our coaches, administrators, and parents. And so I think the, the, the cleaner, more professional, um, uh, more transparent um, and some data-based uh, scenarios that you can bring to the table, I think is always a huge positive. And I, and I would say, I'd say one of the issues that we have in, 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 in ice hockey in particular is particularly at the younger ages, there's such an, uh, an emphasis on the skating aspect of the game. And obviously hockey is unique because it's, it skating is a, a, a unique part of our sport compared to others. But I think where, where other things can, can really benefit uh, the tryout process and the evaluation process, having spent uh, 20 years coaching division one college hockey and recruiting, um, you know, I, I never went to a practice. 